Now this problem was sent to me by one of my students. Uh, the question was 5x minus, simplify 5x minus 1 over x cubed minus 3x minus 2. Now we can do, the main thing is how to factorize the denominator. So let us do, let us see whether we can factorize the denominator. Now x cubed minus 3x minus 2. Now uh, if you know the factor theorem, you can, or the remainder theorem, you can do that. But uh, I'm presuming you don't know the factor theorem. Now, how can I write this? So I'm going to write this as x cubed plus 1 minus 3x minus 3. Now what have I done is, I have split this minus 2. This minus 2 I have written as 1 minus 3 or plus 1 minus 3. So can you see this plus 1 here and minus 3. Now the reason is I want to write this as a cube. So this, the next time I'm going to write this is x cubed plus 1 cube. And I'm, I can factor out a minus 3 out, so I can write x plus 1. I'm going to write a formula which you may not be aware of. So this is a very useful formula. Uh, and you can check the formula out by expanding. So the formula is like this, a cube. It's a very useful formula, a cube plus b cube is equal to a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared. So this is the formula. Now if you don't believe me, expand this out, you will get this. Okay, so using the formula, I'm going to compare my a with x, my b with 1. So I can write this like this. I'll, uh, can I write the next step here is x plus 1 for a plus b. For a squared, my a squared I can write x squared and for minus a b x times 1 is minus x plus b squared is 1 minus 3 times x plus 1. Okay, so now what is common? You can factor out this bracket x plus 1 out. So if you factor out that out, you can have x plus 1 times x squared minus x plus 1 minus 3. So you can simplify this too. So this is x plus 1 times x squared minus x minus 2. Okay, now what can we do? We can factorize this. Okay, putting them in brackets. So this is x plus 1 times x. I'll draw a gap here. So which are the two factors of negative 2 which gives you plus 1 or negative 1? So, well, that's negative 2 and plus 1. So, this is nothing but, I'll rewrite in an order. So, this is x plus 1 times x plus 1 times x minus 2. So, finally, the simplified form is x plus 1, the whole square, times x minus 2. Okay. So, what can we do? Let me scroll back. So, here, this is nothing but, uh, 5x minus 1 over, this is nothing but x plus 1, the whole squared, times x minus 2. Hopefully, this has uh, satisfied my student, and this is the answer. And you can't do anything more than this. You can't cancel anything out. So I don't think it's a, it was a good question.